Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. This is kind of an emergency call for the short time frame guys, because yesterday if you watched my live stream we discovered here that we have a lot of longs compared to the shorts and usually those situations are very very dangerous at least for the short time frames and also because we had this uh, future gap in the CME chart down to $9,300 which now in theory is almost uh, filled but not yet completely filled here in the one hour if we go to the four hour also here you can see that in theory we should go down here towards 9300 with the week this morning here down to 9530 in theory we closed here with this week the gap to this candle but we should go down to $9,300. My target wasn't reached, I had a stop loss. If you watch my yesterday's stream, we went uh, short and this played out perfectly, but I already closed the position, I got stopped out in profits and right now I'm looking for the next trade. The problem is that currently it's not yet sure where the price is moving because we're still fighting here this uh, resistance at around ten thousand dollar it is good that we are testing it so many times because the more we test it the weaker this resistance is uh, getting the only problem is that currently we could have still this future gap below of us we also have a very very tiny one in the one hour at seven thousand six hundred dollar plus we have this problem here that we have so many longs compared to shorts especially here on bitmax so we have around 25 percent all in all on shorts and 75 on longs and this is very dangerous guys because if we're starting to dump here and all these longs are getting liquidated or stopped out we're gonna see a big waterfall to the downside it doesn't mean that it will happen but the chance is here that this will come maybe in the short term before we're starting the real bull run and are able to break this uh, ten thousand dollar resistance so here in the bitstamp chart we start now with the one hour time frame because we were in this rising wedge this morning we had the breakout to the downside we didn't met yet the target at around 9300 this is where i plan to close my short i got stopped out because we immediately jumped up again and right now you see that the previous support is now acting as a resistance so now in theory as long as we are not breaking again this 9700 dollar we have this price level as a new resistance at least now for the short time frame you see that the 20 moving average in one hour is giving us resistance rsi is below the 50 so the 50 now should be acting as a resistance stochastic is in oversold let's see if we have enough uh, few left to break it or not if we go over to the bollinger band you can see that we could go up here towards 9730 to retest it but we have to see if we can start to trade again in the upper area in the bollinger band or we're gonna stay here in the bottom area also macd had a bearish cross and we're shifted now to the downside so i'm still expecting that we could go to reach here the target of 9300 i'm not opening a short right now also because the stock market is doing quite well today so even though we could be in here for a little dump sooner or later i'm very careful with shorting right now because this could be really the beginning of a big bull run but also there is a high chance that we could see first an initial big dump potentially to stop out or liquidate some over leveraged longs and then start the real bull run to the upside so we can go over to the four hour as well let's check here where we are at right now because we are still trading above the 20 moving average in the four hour at 9570 so that is still very bullish we don't have to close a four hour candle below otherwise things could start to look very bearish here and then most likely i'm looking again to open a short position in this area especially if we're starting to trade below the 15 the rsi stochastic is overbought you see that we had now a bearish cross here so also here the momentum is definitely shifted to the downside but in theory we should bounce here from the 50 in the rsi so let's see if we can close now this four hour candle above 9570 this will tell us if in the next couple of hours and today uh, we're gonna see prices again towards 9300 or not here in the bollinger band although we're still trading in the top areas also here it's really depending what will happen and where we're gonna close this candle 
and looking at the MACD this could be looking a bit bearish here because it looks like that we could have a bearish cross here pretty soon so watch out in case that we have a close below 9550 and a bearish cross here on the MACD we could see the price dropping towards $9,200 again so if you are longing then make sure that you have a stop loss set because it is really dangerous to start longing up here very close to the main resistance if you already opened longs down towards 9000 you should be fine but also if you want to take out some profits watch out for your trade take always a stop loss to be sure that you're not gonna get in uh, losses and your profits will be gone so if we have a look also here in the daily time frame here on the bitstamp chart you can see that we're still trading above the 20 daily moving average which is at nine thousand dollar so even if we would start to trade here at around 9000 even down here to 8000 where the 200 daily moving average is this would be still very bullish for the long term so even if you see the price going down here is everything okay and i think it is possible that we're going that low before we maybe go again up here to retest 10k and uh, break it also because the rsi is now above the 50 so we are still very bullish here in the daily stochastic is oversold so here also we should have a big bounce to the upside potentially to break this 10k if we go over to the daily time frame also here you see that the MACD is flat and we're trading here at the upper area of the Bollinger Band so this middle line here at around 9200 should be a very strong support now and even if we would lose it we could fall down here towards 8k which also would be still bullish for the long time frames and even if we go over to the weekly also here still very bullish trading ab above the 15 the rsi trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average everything is still looking very bullish here even in the bollinger band you can see that we're trading in the upper area we have now this 8150 as a support here the middle line and the top here at around eleven thousand dollar this bullish cross here in the macd also makes me more confident that we will see a big start of a big bull run the question question is only are we gonna see first a little dump before we really start to take off especially if the stock market is also supporting us so if the stock market is also pumping as crazy then prepare to see a big big bull run in bitcoin towards new all-time highs so i think if we can break it is 10,500 it's almost guaranteed that we will go to test again 20,000 and potentially even break it if FOMO really kicks in so and if you also want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps guys and for sure you don't want to miss out the next real bull run once we're gonna start it so even with small amount of money you can uh, trade with leverage up to 100x for example here on bybit so with a small amount on the next bull run you can multiply your bitcoins which will be then even more worth so make sure that you are ready to trade once we're gonna start this huge bull run and therefore you need a bybit femex art or prime xbt account you find all the links to sign up to those exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonuses and also some rewards so definitely if you need an account check them out use my links to get these free rewards and on all of them you can trade with leverage and you can also open up multiple trades with different exchanges so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also a giveaway every 500 subscribers and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description and also join the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to check out the twitch channel so thank you very much for your support guys and thank you for watching we see us all in the next one bye